Morning, everyone. Uh, it's uh, just about 7 o'clock Thursday morning. I'm going to go out and do a quick street scrap. Um, I... Did you hear that? <laughs> That's not me. That buzzing you hear in the background, according to my boss, who is graciously letting me use his truck. Uh, he's got all kinds of goodies in here, and it's detecting the the Walgreens automatic doors. At any rate, I'm going to do a quick uh, street scrap this morning. I'm sitting here waiting for it to get light out. I have my coffee. And the place I'm going to be scrapping at is that way. So, that way. It's kind of dark right now, I know. But, we'll start the video up again as soon as I hit the street and find something. So, here we are on the street scrap. Um... I'm going to film this as best I can. I just go up, across, back, across, up, across, back. And if I find something, I'll, I'll, we'll check it out. Right now, there's not a whole lot out here. Oh, there's a guy walking down the green. I think some people in this area that sidewalks are just decorations. They walk out uh, where the vehicles are parked on the street and some out into the street. So what I'm going to do is I'm coming up on my my turn in a couple blocks to go to the next block over. When I do that, I'm going to turn the phone around and let you see the reality of street scrapping in my city. There's not much to get. A lot of what we get, a lot of what I get, believe it or not, is from apartment dumpsters. Switching the camera to street view. Now. And I can't see what I'm filming. garbage. I can't see what I'm filming because I have it facing away from me. I just hope my fingers aren't in the way and that you're getting to see what I see. And I'm, I want to say too that when I uh, I don't usually stop unless I see something I absolutely know is worth scrapping or scrap worthy, so to speak. I do watch out for car parts, if I can find them. Cardboard. Um, mostly, like, when people throw out microwaves, if I see vacuum cleaners, vacuum cleaner hanging out, wires hanging out, I'll stop for it. I will stop for wires. This is typical. Not a lot out. We kind of got screwed in this area from when I was younger. Um, years ago, we used to have cleanups. Like once a month, people would do uh, house cleanups, set stuff out, and Kind of like you see um, on e Waste Ben's channel in Melbourne. Once a month, they would set stuff out. They wouldn't be there. Wouldn't be piles like Ben gets to see. I mean, those things are awesome. When he's squawking and squealing about, oh boy, it's just not much out here today. The rest of us over here are like, are you kidding me? At least I am. Like, come on, Ben. That's like what he gets in one trip cutting cords might take me a month to save up. So, yeah. At any rate, I love his channel. He's awesome. See? Oh, 
Now watch out for this vehicle. I don't have the hazards on, which is stupid of me. Okay. So I'm going to keep this facing one more time. I see a pile over there. I'm going to hit it on the way back the other way. I'll check it out with you. It's on a cross street. Um, the pile isn't going anywhere. But I'm going to keep this on for one more street until I get back to the main drag to make my turn again. And then uh, I'll turn the camera back on when we see something. <laughs> something just made me chuckle. I'll show it to you. This is what I call city scrap. That's city scrap. That's their junk. After the street scrap is over, I am uh, going to spend some time um, transferring the scrap from my broken down van into the back of this truck. Now, I may have to make two trips to the scrap yard. I will show the transfer of the scrap. But as I said earlier, I can't do, I cannot sell them on the scrapyard. So, but I will share what I got as far as weight, how much I made. And we'll tally up at the end of the day. And I will try to upload this video later today. If not, I will do it tomorrow. So right now I'm gonna cut off and we'll come back on when I find something. Hey, let's go check out this scrap pile. This is the one I saw earlier. Oh, geez. It's not my normal vehicle. I used to stop and wait out. All right. I see a fan. I don't take mobs. Um, I'm not going to take the fan either. But I will cut the cord. Hey, I think what was that bad fringe? Sorry if my fingers get in front of it. No, that's not a bad frame. No, don't want it. Okay. I did see something over in the next uh, garbage bin area, but and I am gonna grab it. Unless it's been scrapped out already. It's just a little CRT TV. Um, one thing I want to check. Yep, good. It's got the. Uh, oh, brother. Oh, this is frozen. Um, one thing. Sorry about that. Boy. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to put the TV in the back. Hang on. Look at the front of this thing. <laughs> and I got the front of that thing all over my coat, too. I just want this. Okay, I don't have my pick and stick with me today, but uh, that last pile where I found that CRT, with the crap on the front of it, that was the actual last thing I found on the street scrap. So I thought I'd do... There's some dumpsters that I do on a regular basis. Ah, uh, wait, that one's a food one. Um, I don't have my pick stick with me. And there's nothing in there anyways. Um, huh, some wire. Yep, empty. Uh, you know what? People laugh at me. Why do you pick up that crap? Why? 
so it adds up, that's why. So, um, yeah, I thought I'd check out these dumpsters real quick. Um, this one here, one time I found, um, oh, anybody want some bread? Ooh, some chips up there in the back. Uh, one time I found five ballasts sitting in here. I don't like digging through there um, when I'm filming because I like to have two hands to move stuff around. I got carpal tunnel in the hand that's holding the phone. And my left hand's my weak hand. Oh, there's a bit of steel or metal. God, I need my pick stick. I think I can. I'm going to reach that. It's not much. And maybe I can use this to get that. Okay, let's try it. I'm going to put the phone down real quick and give it a shot. Got it. Yes. Boy, that's a... There we go. Got both pieces. All right, then we're going in the truck. Part of my scrap steel load today. Ooh, if I grab that, we can go right to the scrap yard. That aluminum foil. There's some more over there. No thanks. Aluminum foil. Foiled again. All right, let me put this in the back of the truck. I've got ah, three more dumpsters. I'll check. All right, guys, this is no joke. Uh, I wanted to hit the other dumpsters, but I got a bit of a problem. I couldn't find my scrapper's best friend out anywhere, if you know what I mean. So, I'm going to, uh, that's better, back to the dumpsters. Here we are. This will be the last dumpster I checked for today. Like I said, it's starting to snow. I was hoping to get my whole van cleared out, taken to the scrapyard today. The scrap steel, anyways. Uh, the not fair stuff I can fit in my wife's car if I have to. Hit burnt log, nothing else. Okay. Um. Don't want wood. Don't want plastic. That is right there. Maybe I can get a cord. I don't know. Let's check and see. been removed. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Sometimes I find good stuff in there. Sometimes not. Alright folks. Uh, next up will be the scrap transfer from my van to this truck. Okay guys, I'm going to try to film this. Um, I can't do this one-handed because I'm transferring stuff from there into here right here so I'm gonna set the phone down right here sorry about the hand set the phone down right here you'll see me pop in and out
Okay guys, here's all my uh, auto pieces that I got. Uh, I don't know the names except these are brake hubs right there. But I got all that. This this piece right here. Um, I don't know what the hell it is, but it was given to me. And it's thick, so it's going to go as heavy iron. These will go as factory steel, and this other, I uh, know, that'll go as foundry steel. These will go as another grade. Uh, I just took in the scribe steel. The prices have dropped from 140 in that ton to 120 in that ton. So, I'm sure the price on all of this stuff dropped too. But, <coughs> excuse me. When I took these in last time, they were paying two hundred and eighty dollars on that ton for brake uh, brake drums like that, and a hundred and eighty dollars on that ton for this kind of stuff. So I'll take it in, and see what I get, and I'll let you know. Okay, guys, to wrap up the outside part of this video, uh, I took my car parts into the auto auto into the uh, scrapyard, and. I was told by one of the gentlemen there that this piece here is cast aluminum on both of these. So the only thing that they take is this part here. And that would go as foundry steel or auto steel. Which is fine. So I'm just I just have to separate these three bolts, take it off, and those go to the non ferris yard but i'm wrapping up for today i'm kind of wired and beat at the same time um did a street run did two trips to the scrap yard transferred from that vehicle to the back of this truck i'm gassed out so i'm gonna cut it off now and uh we'll go to scrap central the apartment cent uh, apartment scrappers scrap central and then uh, I'll tell you what I got tallied it's how much I made at the scrapyard today and what the prices are so see you in a bit all right guys I'm not in scrapper central I'm in the kitchen um, we have a flickering light it's just, the electrical wiring in this place stinks at any rate um, so I'm in the kitchen in the apartment and we're going to go over uh, the scrapyard prices that I got for today. Um, so we'll start with the scrap steel. I had 280 pounds of scrap steel. The price, I, as I said earlier, has dropped. It went from 140 a net ton down to 120. So, uh, what is that, six cents a pound, I think. But the scrapyard I go to, they don't pay change because you get your cash out of an ATM. So they round up and down. And I got lucky, I rounded up. I had $16.80 for a $17 payout. All right. And I also had some clean auto cast and foundry steel, three foot foundry steel. I had 27 pounds of clean auto cast. Uh, 250 in that ton. That's dropped from 280 to 250. And uh, number two foundry steel. I had 137 pounds of that. That dropped from 180 a ton. I'm sorry, 185 a ton down to 175 a ton. And my total, I got $15 for that. So all total, 32 bucks. Not bad. All right, here it is. Yeah, thirty-two bucks. So we're gonna put it into the scrap safe. So I'm gonna open that up for you. So I can give you the the combination because nobody's ever gonna break into this safe. Trust me. Three left. Two right. Four left. Here we go. 
That's my scrapper money safe. Gonna add it to what's already in there. For a grand total of I don't really care. Close it up to safe. There we go. So I hope you enjoyed this one. I've got a lot of editing to do for this. Um, this is my first street scrap for a scrapyard. I didn't, you didn't actually see the scrapyard, but you'll never get to see the scrapyard unless I go to a different one that gives me permission to video. This one will not. So, um, again, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please like and subscribe. And if you do subscribe, hit the little bell so you know next time when I have a video posted. See you later.